Hello everyone. Today our topic is the for loop. The for loop in Python is similar to the for loop in other programming languages. To loop through a set of code a specified number of times, we can use the range function. The range function retains a sequence of numbers starting from zero by default and incremented by one by default and ends at a specified number. For example, in this for loop, for i in range 10, print i. The numbers starting from 0 up to 9 are printed. 10 will not be printed. So after printing each number, i is incremented by 1, the default value, and compared with 10. When i becomes 10, we exit the loop. So according to this piece of code, we have this output. We can set the start value and the step. In this for loop, the number is starting from 5 and less than 17 with this step 2 will be printed. So the output is 5, 7, etc. and 15. If the start value is greater than the end value, the step should be negative. In this piece of code, the number is starting from 30 and tilt 2 with the step minus 4 will be printed. So we have 30, 26, etc. tilt 2. A for loop is used for iterating over a sequence that's either a list, a table, a dictionary, a set, or a string. In this example, we iterate over the string Jordan. For x in Jordan, print x. So all the characters in this string will be printed each in a new line. So here we have the output. As another example, here we have a list, G cities, a man, Arabic, etc. For I in the list, G cities, print I. So all the messages declared in the list G cities will be printed. Next, the break statement. With the break statement, we can stop the loop before it has looped through all the items. So if we run the program, here we have all the cities, because we have Karak here in capital letter and here in small. So if we change K in Karak to capital letter and run the program again, then all the cities to Karak will be printed. Here for I in G cities, and in each iteration, we check if I equals Karak, then we break. So we'll have the cities from Amman to Karak. The else keyword in a for loop specifies a block of code to be executed when the loop is finished. In this example, all numbers starting from 1 and less than 15 with this step 2 are printed. When the loop is ended, done is printed. So according to the else option, we can execute another piece of code. Next, the pass statement. In general, for loops should not be empty. But if you suddenly have a for loop without no content, you can insert the pass statement to avoid getting an error. In this loop, we have the pass statement. So we continue, and the statement after the else option will be executed. Here we have it. A for loop can be nested. A nested loop is a loop inside a loop. The inner loop will be executed one time for each iteration of the outer loop. So in this example, this statement will be executed 4 by 4, which is 16 times. In this program, we have the multiplication table for the numbers from 1 to 4. For i in range 1, 5, 5 will not be included, and here for j in range 1, 5, print i, string multiplied by the value of j equals to as it is, and here the product i multiplied by j.
not the insertion of this statement between the loops. So after printing the multiplication table for the number i, we print the heading multiplication table for i. If we run the program, we'll have multiplication table for one. Here one is the outside index, and j is the inner index. After completing the table for one, multiplication table for two will be printed, and again we repeat for i2, etc. During the tutorials, we'll have several additional examples on using the for loops. For today, that's all. Thank you.